Hello everyone and welcome to 2024 Assetto Corsa mid-season. Today I'm going to talk about the most important news and updates from the last half a year and there is really a lot to tell. And the biggest, let's dive into CSP update 025, a major breakthrough in rally simulation. We got gravel physics simulation, gameplay modes and native in-game co-pilot with advanced editor. Plus, let's explore some of the most exciting mods, apps, and new features that have released to the Assetto Corsa community this year. In a few seconds, I'll remind you what you need to start playing, but your best bet is to watch my previous video, where I go over all the details. But to summarize, there are only three steps. You need game in Steam. I recommend having the version with DLC. Content manager, which can be picked up at assettocorsa.club, as well as get a key for the full version. And the latest update, 025 Preview 1 on Ilya's Patreon, which adds new features that I will cover today. So the first big part is the new Surfaces FX module, which adds simulation of different surfaces, not just tarmac. In order to activate it, you need to go to the CSP settings and find the relevant option. It's not just gravel physics, it's also a deep work on force feedback, because the original physics of the game was not adapted to such surfaces and could not work correctly. The old features allowed you to modify the surface with a key to sound or other options. Inside the surfaces.ini file, I will teach you how to correctly modify any surface to turn it into gravel. There's a full description on GitHub, I'll leave a link. But now just a short and clear example on the old Karelia track which is good for tests. I will show you how to check if the physics is working through the surfaces.ini file. While it is possible to link physics to the wave parameter, on this track it is left blank, and the key parameter is dirt addictive. As you can see, the car leaves traces, and also the sound of the wheels transmits all the key dynamics that the tire experiences on gravel. Gravel physics is activated by one simple setting. It's easy to check how the wrong physics works. The car leaves traces as if on tarmac and produces a whistling sound of tires. We have set the parameter to zero and Surface SFX no longer considers it as gravel. In order to force the detection of the surface and its grip, you can simply add two lines to the specified surface. This will allow you to avoid mistakes and to choose one of three types of gravel, from loose gravel with little grip to firm gravel that will give more grip. So modders can use different grip when making their tracks and adjust it as they see appropriate. One line is enough to set grip to regular. This is the default value, but you can also add the following line to choose a more suitable option. Now you can easily change any track to make it work correctly. We will move on to the most important thing. How do tires work on gravel? The good news is that all tires that are presented in the game will work on gravel, but their efficiency depends on their type. It's all based on common sense. Slicks and treadless tires will lose to specially prepared rally tires with aggressive tread. If you have semi-slicks and road tires on the same car, the road tires will perform better than the semi-slicks. If your rally car was for tarmac, it's wearing slicks and its suspension is set up for tarmac, you will lose a lot of efficiency. For mixed tracks, you may have to find a balance of tires and suspension. At the rallyassettocorsa.com, you will find two cars with gravel tires, so you can adapt your mods to new features. The Toyota Celica represents rally racing tires from the late 90s and beyond. Whereas the modern Toyota Yaris got the baddest gravel tires and is very efficient. With Surfaces FX the jumps became more realistic. But you still need to set up your suspension right. Some say CSP team is working on other types of surfaces, but don't tell anyone, it's going to be this fall. Okay, since tracks and physics are both nice, but for a fully featured rally, we'll need a new Copilot app. You can find it and download at AppShelf. This is a deeply developed application that has many features. The app appears in the application bar on the right, and you can turn it off or on at any time. Just like that. Like a normal application, you can move it freely on the screen, and also increase its size that would turn icons change their size to a more comfortable fit. 
As soon as you open it, you're ready and you can start driving. The app will work in almost all game modes. Six right, open. 500. Any track that has an AI spline will get full auto-generation of calls from Copilot. So this Six method left. will work with almost any AB or circuit tracks. The AI algorithm generates right. Copilot calls quite Copy efficiently, left. but you can always change the position, call type or add additional parameters. Now let's go through the options and features. Settings. They include the ability to customize, for example, the sound volume. Although here I want to remind you about the wonderful audio application, which was redesigned recently, in which we can customize literally every audio parameter in the game. That can be very useful. Copilot contains basic English through playing full phrases or through playing words. You can create your own voices. I have already seen that the community has created a Spanish and Italian version. Editor. By uploading your sound to the application folder, you will be able to very fine-tune the start and end moment of playing a section of sound for Copilot calls. The application is quite simple, although it looks quite complex at first look. Two left. It has tips to help you create your own audio track for Copilot in your language. Let's move on. Other options include setting the time when Copilot calls are played, or the ability to turn off their visualization, or for example, to turn on the 3D hints over the track. Given that you can create your own hints on the track, just like Setup Exchange, you can share your Copilot entries with other users. Upload, download, or comment on other players' notes. As long everything is shareable and you want to improve the autocalls to better version, let's come to the Copilot Calls Editor. This module will allow you to change Copilot notes on a new level right in the game. Move with the arrows on your keyboard along the spline. Edit or move the notes directly on the track. You can create completely new notes or modify old ones. Delete incorrectly generated notes or add additional attributes to them to help yourself or another driver better run on a dangerous section or corner. Six right, Titans. You can add multiple attributes to a turn, specify the distance to another turn, or mark a dangerous section. In fact, you can move around the track very quickly and then save your outcome and share it with the community right in the app. As previously stated, if there is an AI spline on the track, everything works without problems. Five left, long, and three right, long. Despite the fact that the app is designed for rallying, I have found that you can learn new or tricky tracks with this app because it works basically everywhere. Another handy feature. Three right, long. New in-game rally mode. Back to the main topic. With the update 025 in additional modes appeared rally mode. It works on tracks type A to B, on asphalt, gravel or combined surface. You can customize additional options and penalties before the game starts. On the test site rallyassetocorsa.com you can find some examples of tracks that work with gravel and the new mode. But of course you can run any other tracks and cars that fit the format and copilot standards. Launching Rally Stage Mode Already in the game, you will see in front of you the starting line with 3D indication, as well as meter counter to the starting line. You need to drive to the starting line and position your car in front of the starter bar. Get ready. 3, 2, 1, go! If you are running the mode for the first time, you will be offered to install Copilot. Otherwise, you can install it manually via App Shelf. I think this is a complete guide on how to start using all the new features. And now we can move on to other important things that are happening now with Assetto Corsa. <laughs> Linear Color Space appeared earlier this year in CSP and is a completely new rendering model that allowed to achieve new image quality and also greatly improved the way large maps look in the game. LCS allows for more accurate processing of lighting and shadows in Assetto Corsa, correcting issues related to the use of standard gamma space, resulting in a more realistic representation of light, fog and reflections on objects. The new capabilities have also opened up more potential for the Pure app, 
which just recently saw the release of Pure 2.0. In this latest version, its creator, Peter Boos, presents his own vision of how to fully unlock this new implemented technology. Online replays. In the latest version of CSP025, online replays came out of the experimental option, and now you can control the replay or watch exciting moments directly in the game without leaving the server. You can watch both your own replays and any other car if you was online at this moment. The online replay continues to be recorded live and you can always return to the live stream. The function can be useful for those who are broadcasting and just as a quick analysis of disputable moments. Dynamic Return is a new mod designed to help you master tricky corners or sections of the track. You can find it on the app shelf and download it from there. This simple app lets you set a start and end point with a single button press while preserving all the car's dynamic parameters. By pressing the hotkey once, you mark the starting point, and a second press marks the end. After that, all it takes is a third press to return to the beginning of the mark sector. Practice any corner as many times as you like and get faster with every attempt. All the features I've mentioned are available in the latest CSP025 update. Now I will move on to other modifications that the community has created that I found most interesting. VRC Formula Alpha 2024, one of the best and most in-depth formula mods at the moment. Besides the overall quality of the models and realistic physics, the mod shows how detailed and complex Assetto Corsa mods can be with endless settings in the garage. I haven't seen this amount of options and customization anywhere else. You have to be a real engineer to make this car go fast. Plus, they've even managed to add a slight damage model. Maybe you want the damage model to be more realistic for formula cars in the future? Drift Scoring App by Damgum a small but very cool app that appeared this summer. It will be useful for those who drift alone or online on a server with other people. I think it has a lot of potential. New HUDs. Custom HUDs continue to evolve to make the game even more diverse. Nostalgic, gameplay or HUD for professional sim racing. Everyone will find his own variant for his tasks. Some even add animations and make it seem like a completely different game on the screen. While some have been updated, we also have brand new choices as well. CMRT Essential HUD by CMRT Group is a good novelty and alternative to many other HUDs, with quite useful features for professional sim racing. Radar app in CSP. You can download it on App Shelf, and it really is the best radar app available an advanced radar app that visualizes your real car in relation to the track and other competitors. Your car is not just a spot in space. You can customize the size and scale, as well as observe the boundaries of the circuit. It works great in different situations when you have multiple cars around you and need to figure out exactly what to do next. I also use it for pair drifting when car limits are critical. Okay guys, I think today I covered all the most interesting news and updates from the last half a year. I think we will see even more new content and features in Assetto Corsa very soon. Subscribe to the channel and thanks for watching. See you next time.